HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. And by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, wives of state policemen were assisted by the Hopkinton police placing blue ribbons around town to show support for law enforcement and their families. Director of School Buildings and Grounds Al Rogers stopped by the HCAM studios to talk about the summertime school renovations and we will show you highlights from this year's concerts on the Common. But first, here are some happenings in Hopkinton you should know about. Three new Hopkinton firefighters were introduced at the Board of Selectmen meeting. Zach Ingraham is a graduate of Danvers High School who worked as a call firefighter for the Hamilton Fire Department. This fire department's great. Uh, the one I previously worked for, you know, the equipment was nothing like this. It was very hard pressed to get things. Uh, this place is awesome. You guys really give us everything and more. Uh, the chief's great. All the lieutenants are great. I'm very excited to be a part of this community and I thank every single one of you. Excellent. Thank you. Ariel Vandette is a graduate of Mesconomet Regional High School and was in the Tops Field Explorer program and also worked as a call firefighter for Boxford and Acton. Hello, I just want to say thank you. This is such a great community since day one walking in the door. Everyone has been so helpful to me and just it's so great to be part of this organization. The fire department has been great and everyone else is just, you can tell that everybody loves their job when they come to work every day, whether it be such as yourselves, police, fire, anywhere, they're just great. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Paul Finneran was a graduate of Norwood High School and has experience on the medical side with a paramedic degree from Salem University. Uh, I can sound like a broken record, but I want to say thank you to all you guys uh, for the opportunity to work here. Uh, this is all new to me, everyone's been great to me, and uh, uh, happy to serve the town of Hopkinton. Thank you. Lucky to have you. From all three of you, congratulations on your new appointments, and we look forward to seeing you around town. They have a bunch of family members here, and I don't know if we want to snap a quick picture or something oh, like that. It's kind of Come nice uh, just to, to do a, a little something. Your... On August 8th, Hopkinton DPW foreman and proud grandfather Phil Shalosky shared a photo with us of his granddaughter Bryn. Bryn Ava Zawatsky, daughter of Tom and Heather, came into this world on July 12th at 5.46 a.m., weighing 7 pounds, 11 ounces, and 21 inches long. This photo is from HCAM's John Ritz. A crew from EMC Corp worked with the Hopkinton Trails Club to restore the trails in the Barry Acres area across the road from Ice House Pond. Badly overgrown trails were cleared and marked, and a bridge was installed at a stream crossing. Over 400 wives of Massachusetts State Police officers are working together to accomplish the mission of placing blue ribbons on trees and poles throughout the state. Two wives of State Police officers, Molly Hanchett and Becky Canty, were welcomed by the town and worked with the Hopkinton Police Department to place the blue ribbons around Hopkinton. Over 400 wives of Massachusetts State Police officers are participating in a campaign to cover the state with blue ribbons. The ribbons are being placed on trees and poles throughout the state to show support for law enforcement and their families. Molly Hanchett and Becky Canty were welcomed to bring the program into town and received help from the Hopkinton Police Department. All right, so we are here on behalf of the Massachusetts State Police Lives to support all of our local officers. We want to make sure that everyone knows they have support from all of us because right now in the world it's a little crazy and upsetting. So this when 
they see us. these ribbons, we want them to know that we're thinking of you guys and that we're all behind you. The families, the local law enforcement, the state law enforcement, we're all a family here. So we just want you all to know that we're, we're backing you 110%. When you see these, think of the families, the friends, local law enforcement, we're all backing you. We certainly appreciate this. Uh, seems like every day now you turn on the news, you're reading about a, another tragic event in the newspaper about an officer fallen. Obviously what happened in, 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 in Texas and other communities, it's just it's, it's surreal what's been going on with law enforcement. And uh, in the news, a lot of protests against police. And, uh, but we have good offices here in Hopkinton and all over the, the nation. And we just continue to keep your chin up and do your job that you uh, sworn to do. But it really uh, leaves a good feeling when we get support like this in uh, these tough times for police. And we really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're supporting um, the Mass State Police. We're the wives of local police officers. And we just want everyone in their whole community to know that we're there to support all law enforcement. Yes, the Mass State Police Wives has led the way uh, hanging the blue ribbons, uh, but we want everyone to know that we're out there for you. So when you see these blue ribbons, we want you to know that we're thinking of you, we support you, we back you 100%. We're thinking of the family members, we're thinking of all the law enforcement, the Mass State Police community, as well as all the local, local law enforcement. So. That's really our main goal here is to put up these ribbons. When people see them, know that you have a community supporting you. And we'd and also like to encourage all local people to hang them on their trees and their front lawn to show their own support, know that then you know that there's people that have you back in town, each town. We're trying to get in every town in the state. And so this way it shows us support knowing that the respect is still there. And I understand you've done a number of towns already. Can you just talk about some of the towns you did and some of the towns you are going to do? I know there are towns in Groton. Um, we're doing Hopkinton tonight on Monday. Um, I'll be leading the way for Marlboro on Thursday at 4 p.m. Um, Sudbury will be short thereafter in the next couple of weeks. And I'm waiting back to hear from Milford and we're trying to get in Westboro. I know there's some other ones out west that have been um, done already. I don't know all the towns. I know they're still working on like yeah, I think the Berkshires were yeah. covered. Uh, we're also going to try to get into Ashland as well. So like she said, we are looking for other folks support, even other wives of other departments to come out to lead the way, putting more ribbons up, the more the merrier, because again, when you see them, you know that you're backed. So how did this blue ribbon program get started? Wives of um, one of the troopers has started the MSP Wives and it was really for support initially for um, all the women, all the wives out there that their husbands are working midnights and getting those shifts so that no one's home when they have the newborn or there's a function on the weekend and you're left alone. So it really started as support for one another and then all the tragedies started happening around the country and we thought that it was a good way to show our support for other departments. Um, that we understand, we know what you've gone through, and really the blue ribbon came from the thin blue line of um, the police support. <laughs> yeah, we've kind of actually um, been in charge of getting our own ribbons. So we've had a great support from the Sunnyside Gardens in Hopkinton. Uh, Mary there actually made a bunch of ribbons, these ones that are hanging here, and donated them. So thank you again to Sunnyside, we really appreciate it. Uh, but all the other ribbons that you're seeing really are coming from the wives and the local communities where we found some good ways of uh, keeping a budget low. <laughs> so we'll, we purchase tablecloths, we cut them the long ways, uh, buy some mesh ribbon and hang them up. So it's all of your creative, Jeans are welcome here. I am not creative, but the Mass State Police wives in the Facebook group we're have trying. been showing us examples that we're following. To see much more about the Blue Ribbon program, head over to our website, hcam.tv. Coming up on HCAM News, we will fill you in on school renovations taking place throughout Hopkinton. We will recap this summer's concerts on the Common. And Courtney will get you up to date with everything coming up on the HCAM channels with our HCAM Insider. You are tuned into HCAM News. Don't touch that dial. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. 
and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Do you have what it takes? Make a difference. Always an adventure. Police and fire working together. Utilizing the latest technology. Do you have what it takes? Welcome back to HCAM News. A long list of school renovations are taking place throughout town. Director of Buildings and Grounds Al Rogers stopped by the HCAM studios to talk about the renovations happening and filled us in on some of the details. While the students may be home for the summer, hard work continues to take place in schools to get ready for the next school year in September. So we are um, redoing the roof at uh, the shingled roof, which is the, the high pitch roof at the Hopkins School um, around the perimeter. And we're doing some of the low slope roof. And we're addressing the, um, the low slope roof at Hopkins School and the high school. We're stripping in seams. So they're, you know, 15, 20 year old roofs. And we're um, trying to do some uh, preventative maintenance and addressing a few leaks that we have. Um, the, uh, you know, the shingle roof at Hopkins has, uh, you know, met his, its life uh, cycle, so it, it's best that we replace that now. Director of Buildings and Grounds Al Rogers listed off a few of the many projects going on throughout Hopkinton schools this summer. We're replacing the scoreboard uh, at the high school um, with um, two LED uh, modern uh, scoreboards that'll be on the walls. Uh, we're motorizing the bleachers at both the middle school and the high school so um, you know we can save the custodians back and um, alleviate you know the potential for liability if if the bleachers aren't weren't pulled out perfectly that you know there's a gap in between the bleachers so these are on track so they they open and close um, you know, through a, a motor device. Oh, we're doing some painting at Elmwood, um, where we uh, replace two condensing units uh, for the air conditioning for the uh, computer lab and the library. Um, those are both, uh, they were put in in, I think, 89 is, uh, is what, so they've reached their life cycle. These projects are taking place on top of the many routine annual maintenance responsibilities. You know, there's our regular routine things like, um, you know, the custodians go through the buildings and they, they clean from top to bottom. They uh, strip and wax um, every classroom, every corridor. Um, we're screening and refinishing all of the wooden gym floors. One of the much anticipated additions includes air conditioning at the middle school auditorium. We're adding um, air conditioning to the auditorium and uh, also in the auditorium we're doing some uh, some upgrades we're painting the floor and refinishing the floor in front of the presidium uh, adding some lighting replacing some rigging and a new control system for the lighting Al mentioned that the most expensive project is the necessary roof repairs it's a little over um, a million dollars we're spending on the roofs the uh, scoreboard is about um, $23,000, $24,000, including the electrical uh, and all that. The, um, the bleachers, um, both middle school and high school, are around $80,000, $85,000 for the, for the upgrades and the electrical to provide the, the motors uh, to, to those units. The list of repairs this summer is extensive, but in many cases, renovations on the various schools are similar 
due to the fact many of the buildings are around the same age. We had the benefit of, of um, building uh, new additions and new buildings and those all happened pretty close together so um, those things are starting to age a bit and they're starting to age at the same time so we're, you know we, we have to address things that are aging. While the majority of the projects will be done by the school year in September, a few of the smaller items will continue a bit into the school year. It goes on all summer long. Some of it will be, um, you know, into the, uh, into the school year. We'll, we'll um, address all the stuff that has to get done in classrooms and teaching spaces. Um, some of the stuff can, uh, can uh, you know, go into the school year that, you know, doesn't affect the, the education process. Some exciting renovations to look forward to as we approach the school year. Coming soon on HCAM, you will be able to hear a whole lot more about what is happening at schools in Hopkinton. School Superintendent Dr. Kathy McLeod will be hosting our program, Highlights from the Hill. And on the program, she will fill you in on the latest happenings throughout Hopkinton schools. The first episode will air in September, and we will have more details for you soon. The Hopkinton Parks and Recreation Commission and the Hopkinton Center for the Arts combined once again to bring another successful summer of Concerts on the Common. Here are some of the scenes from the concerts this summer.
You can see all of the concerts on the Common performances on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. Believe it or not, we are already in mid-August and many programs are coming up on the HCAM channels. To get you up to date with our upcoming summer programming, here is Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Tuesday, August 23rd at 8 p.m., the Infractions performed cover versions of favorite songs with guitars, drums, and brass in the last of this year's Concert on the Common series. On Friday, August 26th at 9 p.m., Samantha Prescott discusses being a runner, her family in Hopkinton, and her connections with The Spoon on a new Meet Your Neighbor. Throughout the years, there was 12 of us that had worked there. Uh -huh. So not just seeing each other at work yeah. on a Sunday, then you come here for Sunday night dinner, mm -hmm. and there's like 20 of us here. On Sunday, August 28th at 10 a.m., the planning board meeting from August 22nd will air. And on HCAM Ed, the Keep Smiling for Abbey Field Hockey, Players Parents vs. Hopkinton Community Leaders, and 2016 Hiller Varsity vs. Hiller Alumni Games will air. Tune in to see who the winners of these matchups will be. If you want to know what's coming up on our channels, head on over to hcam.tv slash connect to sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know about current events in town, you can subscribe to our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, you can view more about the Wives of Massachusetts State Police Blue Ribbon Program, plus more of the latest happenings in Hopkinton. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care and thank you for watching HCAM.